Hello everyone, my name is PJ and this is my friend Tyler and welcome back to and the, the insane, insane Trilogy. Trilogy. Part 37. 37. Okay, what's next? I just did this one. Yep, so it's 18 now. Toe no tails. Another cocoa stage. Yep, another cocoa water stage. Alright. Okay. Better watch out for him. Hmm. He's a meanie poo. He has a weird chin. <laughs> He's weird in general. <laughs> okay, look behind me. Okay, nothing there. Except for the endless void of the you know, end of the world. It'd be nice to go driving out there. Just out there, you mm -hmm. know. It probably doesn't go that far, probably. But are there invisible barriers beyond the normal level barrier? Well, for the original game, uh, the answer to that question is no. Uh, in the original game, the sea just ended and just dropped off into nothingness eventually. Hmm, really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I still want to see it. Anything See, over here? No. It's one of those things where, like, you know, sometimes games have uh, have more uh, more in barriers after the set uh, set barriers, but usually that's because like of the nature of the models themselves and like what they're allowed and what they're not allowed to do. You know. You know what'd be cool? Yeah. An indie game where the whole story is going beyond invisible level barriers. Oh, there is one like that. You ever heard of the Magic Circle? No. It's just like that. Like, it's, it's basically about being a, a, a glitch that exists outside of the level boundaries. And, like, you are a glitch. Like, it's just talking about you doing stuff. Yeah. No, that's a, that's a really bad description of it, but you get my idea. Like, it, it gets to a point, like, in the game where you can actually, like, click on an object, right? And you can modify its code. So you can be like, I want this to be my friend now, or I want this to be something I can hold, and you can carry it around with you. Stuff like that. Huh. It's, it's pretty cool, actually. Mm-hmm. I saw this Minecraft map the other day. There's one that Captain Spock was played like one or two years ago. Yeah. Um, where you actually control a villager in a top-down Legend of Zelda-ish perspective, and it plays out kind of like a LucasArts adventure game. No. Yeah. Uh, is this the one with like the hidden area off to the side with like the yeah. three crates? Okay. The, it's not. It's not crates. It's lives. Okay. That we had no idea how to get for like the longest time. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Hmm? What? Is that a live down? Life down there? Underneath the water? Yeah, there is. Come on, it... give it to me. Looks like it doesn't go down far enough. Eh, it's only alive. Did I pass something important? Well, there's a... There's oh, right, a, right, yeah, this yeah, area yeah, over yeah, here. Yeah. We missed this the first time. This big old optional area with the ship. I do wonder what Aku Aku is thinking while all this is going on. Because he just floats around with you. Like, what, what, what is he even thinking about? What a nice view. <laughs> this would be a nice place to take my kids if I could have any. <laughs> well, I, mean, I guess technically... Well, he does... Doesn't he call Coco and Crash like children, or is that just is that just your joke that you do with them? He calls them children. Yeah, so like it's kind of his kids. I mean, no, no, not biologically, but well, you know he's probably centuries old, so any mortal is a child to him. Well, I suppose that's a good point. I've seen so many of my friends die. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder why he even bothers, you know, helping mortals at all. Because he's a good spirit. Well, I mean, what I mean is, like, what is his real purpose? 
Um, does he not have a purpose? Was he simply... He, he turns you invincible when you collect three of them. His whole purpose is to help. <laughs> then, you know, what, what about his brother then? Like, his purpose is to destroy. <laughs> okay. Uh, but I wonder, does his brother have the same powers he does? Like, I wonder. Well, he doesn't turn Cortex invincible. And you can't collect more than one of them. But how does that even work either? Like, how? Wh where does more of him come from? Like, uh, do they just permeate the world and... Hmm. I mean, because if he could just grant, like, invincibility, like, wouldn't he just do that? I don't really know. Kind of strange. That was quick and easy. Well, we knew about the pirate ship this time. Yeah. I could have gone to grab those extra lives. I just forgot about it. Yeah. I still love Aku Aku, though. I think he's a, a beautiful f part of this game, honestly. A beautiful part of the entire franchise. Until they turned him into a taco. <laughs> well, come on. He didn't He didn't, he didn't. get uh, screwed over as much as uh, his brother did. I mean, I still hate his brother's design more. Okay, what's next? Future Frenzy. Okay, your turn. I don't even understand like why they even bother redesigning Aku Aku though. It didn't make really make any sense. They made like look like an ape for some reason. Like I don't get that at all. I don't know. I mean, crash redesign, sure, I, I get that. In fact, I'm still kind of a fan of the whole tattoo look for him. I, I like that look. But and even like aging up Coco a bit, I was like, oh, okay with that. I didn't mind. Oh, it makes sense that they'd be older in the future. Yeah. But no, but the, but the thing is, Aku Aku, well, unless that's just how Aku Aku ages. <laughs> okay. No. Alright, so is, this, is there any funny gimmicks about this level? Uh, I don't remember if there's a gem path. There might be a death passage. Or there might be an alternate entrance. I forget. Uh, come on. Okay, you can't do it if you double jump? No, I did okay. that before. Okay, okay. Okay. Now, is this the stage that you have to do backwards from the alternate entrance? Was I didn't see any... Uh... Actually, maybe. I don't know. Well, does it wait for the alternate entrance, I guess. Can you jump on these guys? Yeah. And we have not had invincibility in a long time. Green. Green means go. Why? You know, I tried to double jump. I tried to double jump. It didn't work. Why didn't you just wait for it to change back? Does that push me up? Yes, it's safe. Oh, okay. But don't try to jump when you're in them. Okay. You can slide under those ones. Okay. I thought I could slide under it. <laughs> Sorry. Hair clipping. Okay. Very cool. This can actually kill those. They're not just, they're not just stage hazards. Well, other than some of the elevators, I've yet to see a part where you can't go backwards from. Oh, well, okay, whatever. Don't really know what the point wait, of that was. Bonus stage. You just walked right past it. That was that that blended in quite a bit. Thank you for pointing that out. That. It blended in quite a bit. Oh, that's cool. Just down below here. Okay, double jump. Wait, what, what, what makes this one cool, but none of the other ones? Well, a lot of them uh, tended to uh, have a fade to black where they go to where they need to go. Uh, no, not in this game. There are some that do. Like the, the, the castle wall one did that. It does not fade to black. Okay. Whatever you say then. Yeah. 
remember how to do this one, right? You just have to, like, do that, right? Well, I mean, double jump up, and then you slide across, yeah. That's how you do it. I just didn't do it, do it well enough, that's all. Right? I mean, it's done right, right? You know what moves to make. It tells you right from the sign. Yes, it just said double, yeah, yeah. You double jump and use the hurricane. Yes, that's what that, I did. But there was a reason I asked, do you remember how to do this? I mean, I, I, I assumed that it was, if it's that obvious. There's not really much else I could miss there, is there? I don't think so. You died, though. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah, just get up here and then... Yeah, and then, you just, then you just have to be moving right while you're doing it. That's all. It's just like that. Yeah. There we go. Although they did make the glide of the death and then it's been a bit more glidey powerful yeah like more horizontal instead of a slow descent the whole time i actually like that change uh honestly i i do kind of like well okay fine i could make it the other way too it's it's safer if you just crawl okay that was weird There we go. We're making it. Can I spin these guys? Yes, okay. when they're not glowing. I was wondering why you weren't killing them. Oh, I thought it would keep me longer in the spin. Alright. It didn't, though, for some reason. It dropped me out of the spin, so I guess I'll just have to be hitting square repeatedly after that. I think it did keep you in the spin before. Yeah, that's why I was a little bit confused. Alright, here we go. Oh, come on. Yeah, you should have double jumped. I should have double jumped, yeah. I should have double jumped. We're almost to the end, so... Seriously, Koka's arm must get so tired carrying that freaking laptop everywhere. It's a thick laptop that she's got, too, so... I don't, that thing must weigh at least 10 pounds. I don't know if I'd say 10 pounds, but it definitely would be pretty heavy. To carry it with one hand all the time? <laughs> yeah, well, that's what I'm saying, like... She doesn't even switch hands or anything. She just is always carrying it. She should just get a duffel bag, honestly. Mm, no, we missed something. Yeah, that has an alternate entrance. There's an alternate entrance, yeah. okay. Okay. I knew there had to be an alternate entrance. Okay, but we had to do the level anyway to get the crystal. Exactly right. Alright. Next up on the agenda is... Was that level 19? Yes. Wow. Level 20 is next. Wow. Tomb Waiter. I still tomb, love that. Tomb Waiter. Tomb Waiter. You get the blue gem here. Tomb, 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 tomb Waiter. Special gem lies at the end of a death route. So, okay, so I cannot die. Nope. But I'm going to aim for that one. First. Oh, I also learned something, too. Uh, death passages in the European version suck <laughs> in this game. Because in the European version, uh, if you die on the death passage, the death passage goes away forever. Until you reset the entire level. That sucks, dude. <laughs> uh, this, the water one. Right. Oh, I love the way the water looks here, though. Look, they're learning. <laughs> now they have spikes on their sarcophagi. And we've tried to do... Fancy speedrun tech. We've tr tried to jump around stuff or whatever. It doesn't work. We're not good enough for that. It's really hard to see the rise and fall of the water for some reason. Because it's so cloudy. Oh, that's that's fancy looking. Ooh. Now, I don't know if I can just, like, kill myself at the end of the Death Passage to come back and get the rest of the crates. Okay, don't, don't do what I did. I know. Yeah. Wow. That was smooth as balls, man. Because, you know, balls are smooth. Don't. <laughs> Don't? No, no bonus jokes on my channel. <laughs> okay. It's 
strange requirement, you know, like, the, not, not requirement, but like, that's a one joke you don't allow, that's, that's kind of weird. But I get it. <laughs> Alright. Good thing that didn't just blow up the crate on you. That's a pretty, uh, pretty good bonus stage, actually. I, but I, I am glad also that I figured out... Because I, I explained before when we went through the, the bonus stages, I was always wondering like why they bothered having the giant signs to tell you how to do stuff. Like, double jump here, or smash here, or whatever. Uh, I eventually kind of learned that, like... It actually makes a lot more sense than I thought. Because the bonus stages, you can't lose lives in. You know? Yeah. So it, it's more that they're just they're act, they're acting like tutorials more or less. You know the bonus stages are. That's why they go to the hassle of putting the signs there and everything. Just because you know they're they're more like tutorials. Which I was like, okay, I understand it now. Makes more sense. It's not as silly and unnecessary as I thought it was. What did you shrug for? Hmm? What did you shrug for? I was hoping I could like let go of the button and not death and then spin all of the food away. But it didn't work out. Yeah, don't, don't even bother trying to do anything fancy. Just let's get to the end of this. Where's the death passage? Right here. Oh. Okay. With a checkpoint right in front of it. Mm -hmm. That does not bode well. I think this one is all about oil sliding. Nope, it's more water. Okay. I seem to recall what you were thinking there. Maybe some other level has it like that? I don't know. Oh, oh my water, like water. Water look good. Water good looking. What water? <laughs> Why don't water look good in real life? No, it can. It can, yeah, you're right. In very specific places, yeah, water can look freaking beautiful. Isn't it funny how water is deemed more beautiful the more the less it looks like water? Like, <laughs> is that a good thing or a bad thing? I, I don't know if that rule completely applies. Come um. on. Hey, that time she just instantly drowned. What the hell? That yeah, it was very strange. Okay, well. Because yeah, you can't, like, you can't look at a rock with a picture of Aaron Carter's etched into it and say, this is beautiful water. <laughs> <laughs> Why Aaron Carter? <laughs> he was the first <laughs> random celebrity to come to mind. I, I don't think it could, I don't think it could have been any more random than you actually made it. Like, I, I honestly don't think it could be. And Aaron Carter has not been relevant in, like, 20 years. Like, it's crazy. Like, didn't he do, like, a song? I think he did a song for, like, uh, the like the Rugrats in Paris movie, I think. If I'm not mistaken. I don't know. I, is he even still alive? Do you, like, does he have drugs or something? I don't, I don't know. know. Yeah. Like, I'm wondering, like, what the heck... What has Aaron the, Carter been doing? The most recent thing that I associate with Aaron Carter... Blue Gem. Is this the end of the stage? Yeah. Die. The most recent thing I associate with Aaron Carter is the ultimate showdown. Okay. When Aaron Carter came out of the blue, and he started beating up Shaquille O'Neal and the up whoops. <laughs> what, what is up with that cloud that appears? You see that? What cloud? Like, drown yourself, you'll see. Like... No, when you're, when you're dying. When you're actually dying? Yeah, when you're okay. actually dying, yeah. Well, we'll see. Okay. Yeah, there's like a light or something that like, appears above your, your... It looks like a cloud with a light in it. Is, is it the phone? Like, is the phone, like, looking down at her in the water or something? I'm surprised more people weren't upset, like, how they gave Coco a cell phone. Because, you know, it seems like everybody nowadays is mad when, when media portrays cell phones and things, you know? But it makes sense for Coco. It does, yeah. It makes sense for our character. And because even laptops weren't that much of a thing when Crash 2 came out, and she had one. 
She's just always been ahead of the technological game. Well, you may be surprised how long uh, laptops have been around, man. I know, but yeah. they were not in common use when no. Crash 2 came out. You're right, you're right. What? <laughs> Are you... What? You're touching my elbow. Well, I have to be somewhat close, be in the shot. Your elbow, your elbow must be the sacrifice for my comfort. I don't know. I don't know if we ever mentioned this, but we we're both leaning toward each other in order to both be in the shot. I don't know how to fix this. So, I mean, you know what would fix it? A wide-angle lens. But we don't have a wide-angle lens. That's the problem. You recommended this webcam to me. Yeah, because of the quality. Not because of the actual lens. I recommended it because it records in 1080p. That's pretty good. And yet, it still comes out fuzzy for some reason. Well, it's not like we have any post-processing going on with it. I mean, we don't know how to edit videos. Post-processing? Yeah, like, you know, run it through, you know, have it looked over and color adjusted and stuff like that and, you know, all that stuff. How, how do you make it less blurry? Uh, you mess with the sharpness, don't you? Hmm. Like you, you, you sharpen it in post processing. Like in post processing, you resharpen the video, make it smoother. You redo the lighting. You color correct certain things depending on the time of day, stuff like that. But again, we don't have editors. We have to do it ourselves, so we don't have the liberty of having people who Boom. not do things. Crystal gem, blue gem, all in one visit. Yep. We're getting close. We are getting close. Yeah, I don't know if I've mentioned it this week, but I also adjusted the camera settings so that we don't appear as red. Mm-hmm. I really don't mind the quality of the camera very much, though. I think it looks pretty good, to be honest. Oh, we're already at the boss. Yeah. That was fast. Mm-hmm. Jeez, okay, well, let's see how fast I can beat him. Leave no gem unturned. Another trophy. Um, what's that one for? Three gems, I guess? 21 out of 45 gems. Um... I don't know. I don't know what it's for. Dr. Engine. So, you want to go with your eyes? When this is over, we'll see who is up for it. Dodging keeps you safe and makes it harder to aim. Uh, yeah. That's just how this works. Oh, this is new. You're on the moon. I like how you're shooting so fast, like it just looks like a stream of like water. <laughs> oh come on, I'm trying to shoot the machine gun. Oh it, wow. The the firing mechanic actually feels like a stream of water. Okay. Well, was it better? I mean, maybe. It looks better. Hmm. Yeah, you seem to be, like, floating around a bit. It's kind of hard to control. There we go. Okay. They saw that thing where you can't quite aim to the gun when it goes off to the side. Yeah. Uh, oh, it's close to being destroyed. Yeah, what are you even shooting at? Oh, okay. You're just preparing to... There we go. Still one of the best bosses in Crash? Definitely. Okay. Now I'm just gonna... Just spam missiles. Okay. This is... Really difficult, actually. I might have to invert the controls. Wow, are you even hitting him? I can't tell if you are. It's there like, we go. It's like okay. I'm squirting water at him. <laughs> yep. Also, was Coco's ship always pink? Yeah. With a heart on it? I don't know about the heart, but... Hi, well, that's, that's new. Like that's, that's really big. Okay. That's a lot bigger than it was before. How does Pyrrha know how to fly a freaking spaceship? 
That doesn't make any sense. And the back of it looks like a tiger head. Oh, that's actually pretty cool. Way to go, guys. <laughs> okay, so the Pura has to be sentient. Yes. What are you doing? Just ran right into that. I thought it was in front of me. Okay, you're gonna die. No, no, maybe not, maybe not, maybe not. What are you trying to hit? Um, did I already destroy the yeah. thing that makes the... That was fast? Yeah. Doesn't that normally take way more hits? Uh, ah. okay. Well, okay. there you go. Yep. How do I do this? Invert vehicle controls. Okay. Yeah, so it should be inverted. Or at least partially inverted or whatever. Oh, left and left. But Le there's still left and right. It's still right. It's just up and down that changed. Yeah. Now, the guns are destroyed much easier. The gun in this hand, I should say. Now, your, your handle is just fine. You're going to get it this time. You gotta get kinda of in front of the handguns in order to destroy them. You should probably destroy the guns last. Because then you won't deal with missiles, will you? Or will you? I don't know. Uh, that's, that's probably true. Now let's destroy the core down there first. The, the belly button? Oh. You still have decent health, though. Okay, now you get the gun. Now wait until the gun stops shooting before you start trying to shoot it. Because he keeps his hand up for quite a while. The trick to it is to kind of throw the bullets at the arm. You, you go, you sh go left and right repeatedly. Okay. First things first. You destroy that bottom part. That goes down real fast, it's down already. Yeah. Wow. And these things look very different. Okay, and then destroy these side things. Because they they're, they're the next biggest threat. They're not opening this. Oh. There we go. Okay. There we go. There's one. Okay. And, uh... This one should go down quickly as well. Once it opens. There we go. Okay, perfect. Okay. What hit me? Huh. The, the, the electrical ball that shot out. Oh, I didn't even see it. Yeah. Okay, now just go destroy these things. Yep, that's not too hard. There's one. I mean, it'll shoot faster as they get smaller, but whatever. As they get lesser in number, I should say. And... And right about and now. Done, yeah. There we go. We beat Engine. Mac wrecked again. And the Fruit Zooka. To fire fruit at a target, hold the L2 button to raise gun, aim with directional buttons, and press circle to fire. Mm -hmm. And Pyro Rocket Cannon never appears again. <laughs> it makes no sense at all as to why that's a thing. It's funny how history repeats itself. Yet again, Engine has failed to defeat you. I always hate how depressed he actually gets there. Like, you honestly feel like you've beaten this guy so badly that like he just has no point in life anymore. Okay. Well, uh, that's the end of this episode. Yep. Yeah, almost perfectly on time. <laughs> well, so last world. Yep. So, 
Thank you all so very much for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe because we really appreciate it. If you want to support us on Patreon, there will be an end card at the end of the video and a link in the description below alongside links to our social media and Tyler's Twitch account. Hope to see you there. So, we'll see you all in the next video. Bye, guys. No. Why not? Why would I? Because they're memes. So? They're important. Well, they're not. Yes, they are. They're like trends. They're like, it's like fashion. Equally unimportant. Very important. You have no idea. I don't know why I'm friends with you. You don't care about memes.